Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and welcome to the High Chaos run of assassinating High Oversee Campbell in Dishonored. Uh, that's pretty much everything is, is what it is. We're going to be going in and we're going to be stabbing that prick in the face. And uh, joining us on the adventure in Stabs... I am Cool Guy, and I am going to be absolutely horrified at every single step. No, I'm going to cathartically enjoy every fucking second of this. And I'm Orv, and I'm going to be really sad that stabbing is all that happens. There's so many other ways to kill people. <laughs> oh, oh, d don't, don't you worry. Um, the the fact that I have never done a high chaos run before means that I'm doing a lot of I'm doing a lot of science, uh, especially in this first starting episode. Science uh, is what so... he calls it. Oh yeah, that's the right kind of science. Yeah. So uh, so please look forward to it, everybody, as we uh, as we head on out to uh, to insert strange, horrible, pointy objects into a lot of people who are just trying to earn a paycheck. Now I'm not okay with it. <laughs> be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Braggs. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Well, we're gonna be picking all of them, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, thanks for the yeah. quest tick boxes, Samuel. Yeah, I'm just, uh, gonna show off a few things here. This is just our mission screen, the nonsense that involves in that. A lot of stuff will get added to that, we won't pay attention to it. These are the powers that I've selected. I mostly just went with agility and the blink. And in the inventory, um, I guess I don't show the upgrades. I don't remember what I grabbed aside from the rune. I didn't have nearly as much money as uh, as cool guy to play around with. So because I, I was I was like being uh, being an asshole about confiscating everything. I did get the zoomy thing, so there you go on the mask. Apparently so. Weird nerds. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. Arthur's note. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's lots of little bits and pieces done around just to let you know that there are, uh, there are little stuff added around. <laughs> there are actually people living here, surprisingly enough. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. It still surprised me. I, 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 I fucking <laughs> previewed this three times and I'm just like, okay, left control. No. Slunk. It's I just still loved surprised well, he me. ain't moving no more, just as soon as I did that. <laughs> and now everyone gets to wonder exactly who's getting knifed whenever I sort of walk up towards them. You're not gonna kill uh, kill her, are you? Okay, no, great. I just took her money. Okay, well, uh, that, that's, you know, that's okay. I do the same thing. I chaos my ass. Special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. I don't even know if that guy gets mad at you if he sees you. I'm just... He's a survivor, so no, he does not. But he does get scared very easily if he sees you do, uh, doing something strange. Which, you know, basically amounts to the same thing. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Abbey... So yeah, here's, that's the Wall of Light. And there's lots of ways you can deal with Walls of Light. Um, firstly, you can walk into them and die. That's always very important. <laughs> That, that's one way to deal with them. I'm not sure that uh, that's uh, that's an effective way to handle things. You can pull out the whale oil that powers them to turn them off, and you get little things that can reprogram them so that when other people step into them, they die horribly. Uh, I still winced. I still winced. Also, oh another thing I just want to just warn everybody in advance, um, I'm going to get spotted a lot. Because, uh, honestly, like... The important nope. thing about being full of cat that's how the spring razor trap works by the way ladies and gentlemen you normally wouldn't see that get used at all in a in a, in a run because people would be trying not to kill everybody i will be using them uh, not not at the beginning but i will be using them i i will admit in in one of my practice runs i tried to use them to kill swarms of rats and it didn't work and i was really disappointed <sighs> oh god! i've got the spring razor and i'm wondering how i can use it here and i'm like no nah, i can't really 
Nearly got spotted. What difficulty are you playing on anyway? Is it very hard or? No, I think I'm just playing on a regular difficulty just to. Okay. You know. For what it's worth, I play on very hard. Mo uh, mostly, uh, mostly because um, if you're doing if you're doing a clean hands run, you might you might as well uh, do it the most sadistically as you as you can. Yeah, I'd li I'm thinking. Can I can I throw this at them? Can I can I really throw this at them? I'm being spotted very slowly here. That's one of my. This, hopes this is the detection systems at work. The, dis the, the detection system in, the, in this game is legitimately amazing. I mean, it, it works really well, and it's very fair um, on basically everything but very hard. Very hard is just like, wait, what? Know you're here. No. Yeah, well, at least one of them <laughs> noticed me. I was like, how did these guys? How did these guys not see me? That guy. That guy just had a helmet that that got rid of your damn son. <laughs> well, that was excessive. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> that was that was pretty badass. I, I will admit. Okay, so sneaky, sneaky. Of course, like ledging on very small ledges can be very, very wonky. Here's our first bone charm after we uh, finish reading uh, this dude's really terrible song. Yeah. Bone charms are basically stuff you slap on that have different bonuses related to him. In this one, um, getting damaged by an enemy we won't see at all in this mission gives me mana. <laughs> That's they're they're fairly worthless. Some of these. They're basically zombies. Yeah, think of think of bone charms as perks or traits. There's one in particular that I'll be looking for in my in my run that um, I mean I as of the time of this recording I haven't done I've done my final recording for uh, for my episode yet so I don't know if I'll find it because these these bone charms are legitimately random I you have no idea what you're uh, what you're going to find in each playthrough. Yeah, so they want us to figure out how we're going to get past the wall of light. It'd be very easy to just go up and pull out that whale oil. In fact. That's what you're gonna do. Well, no. Nope. Okay, and that's not. the security door panel. I think about it, but what we want to actually do is we want to go down the alleyway. Eventually, this is just what it looks like when you go into like you can turn all of these these icons off. By the way, when you play, if you don't want to have uh, have everything highlighted like the bone charms and whatnot, you can actually turn that off. A lot of people do. It causes it causes a couple of pro of problems with a few objectives, but uh, it's it's general. It's it can generally be made very immersive if you like. It's a strange old lady just throwing shit. Yes. Birdie. If I was a birdie, I too would like to eat a glass bottle. I have no idea. Chick is weird. Mm -hmm. That's why we're gonna go. We're gonna go meet her. Well, that was quite the ominous rhyme she was. Uh, she was tossing out. I like how you uh, you you pull out your your incendiary bolts right there. It's like th this is what we're going to need coming into the, this you know <laughs> random house at the end of the alleyway. Oh, well, you know, just, just in case. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Shut bitch, I know what I'm doing! Pre-looting of the house, sleep darts, they, they have their uses. I like sleep darts myself. I imagine you have somewhat less use for them. They are the most important item if you're trying not to kill everybody in the game. Yeah, the only thing you you can do to like shoot people and not end their lives immediately. Dear, is that you, my dear husband? No. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. 
And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Use the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Sure, once I'm finished looting your altar. <laughs> Why not? Because someone this disturbing obviously would have a shrine to the outsider in their back alley. There's really no explanation, uh, no other explanation for being so fucking weird. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. No you shit. Wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? It's incredible. I remember the first time I played this game and I, I, I heard that, uh, that explanation of the outs uh, from the outsider about Granny Rags. I was reminded of this one episode of the Flintstones where Wilma met, uh, met one of her old friends from college and she as she said I always was playing hard to get and never yes. and never got got and so apparently she made the different choice and she like spent half of half of the episode like creepily hitting on on Wilma so apparently she made the different choice of just like Let being gay I don't what she can't even hear us she's blind oh, no. my <laughs> this this game brought out a lot of weird Memories from me. Stupid either. <laughs> Have it your way. But you are. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love how those cats let, uh, like try to drink from their uh, their whiskey so they can they can like spit fire at you. And it hurts like buggery, so it glad that didn't happen. Really does. Mm, if I was a birdie, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would. Yeah. Oh my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? No! The parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Christ, she is creepy. Gets worse. I told you the knives <laughs> go on the left. Quit nagging me! I hope you She's a witch! The gift I got for you. It's the least <laughs> legit scared the shit out of me the first time that happened, because I could hear her downstairs I and then suddenly whoosh. Bottle yeah. street children, ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? Oh, uh, that would be terrible. Dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. The way she crinkles her hands as she talks about this is that legitimately gave me a shiver the first time I, I saw that whoever animated that did a great job. So precious. This lady wants to murder everybody. Yeah. In case it isn't it isn't clear already, um, when she talks about birdies, she's actually talking about rats, and specifically <laughs> plague rats. And so the first ability I acquire uh, is is a great one if you're planning on killing everybody. If someone doesn't 
know you're there and you killed them, they turn into ash. God damn, boy! That's not fun. It's, uh, and eventually, uh, you can upgrade that so that just everybody you kill turns to ash. It does lead to some fairly funny things because the criteria of their death is simply do, do not know you're there f at first, and that means you can kill them with, like, a crossbow bolt to the back of the head or, you know, various other means, and their, their body will just, you know, turn into ash. Well, I think you could make a killing on that with cremation services. It was just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let me out. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Fact is, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. So reach it to your pockets and let's get this done. Yeah, get back. Yeah, so somewhat of an annoying thing is that, uh, quite often when everybody finishes their, their talkie conversations, uh, that, like, they all just start moving around randomly, which is kind of annoying. Hey. So the best time to kill them is interrupting them in their, you know, conversations. I you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. This is one particular situation where uh, Robokai and, and I will, uh, will converge just because if you do not save Griff here, he becomes a weeper in, uh, or a zombie rather, in, uh, in a later mission. And Griff is one of the most useful merchants in the game. So, uh, regardless of whether or not you're killing everybody, he's he's cool as hell. And another bone charm, and this one is actually really bloody useful. Holy uh, because... crap! That one rules. Yes. That pretty good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is probably the best one that I could have ever gotten because if I'm going to be creeping up on people. It, being able to just do it with my my knives out that's fantastic yeah that that's that's a super lucky find I suppose my luck balanced out from getting the one that's like completely fucking useless yeah there are there are a hundred of there are a hundred bone charms that are totally freaking useless so honestly that that was that was pretty normal and then this one is just like hell yes. So our, our mission, our mission is twofold now. Um, like, and by a mission, I mean the not the mission we're here to do. We got to go to Galvani's office, get ourselves a bit of plague bit, and then we got to go uh, go back to the Bottle Street Gang. We've already passed the actual the entrance to the Bottle Street Gang still, um, and we've got to go in there, and it's its own area, and we've got to poison their stills. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. And this is why Griff's actually pretty good, because, well, amongst everything else, he sells blueprints. These are, these are blueprints that, uh, that upgrade, um, that upgrade Piero ba uh, back at the Hound's Pit pub. So in addition to let, uh, letting you resupply in the field, he makes everything else better. Mm -hmm. Zoom! Yeah, uh, a lot of people get a bit freaked out when you start doing strange things like teleporting around and, and whatnot, but you know what, fuck those guys, who cares? They can eat it. Yeah, this is, uh, obviously there's no one really alive aside from Griff in the area and, and the gangs, and uh, so you get a lot of houses full of people who have, uh, who have suffered some very unfortunate fates. I'm real upset that you're not throwing that corpse out the window. Honestly, for a moment there, I thought that's what he was going to do. <laughs> I just, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, that that door pretty much highlights the faith everybody has in me as a uh, as a human being, anyway. God, I love how vertical this map is. There, it, it's it's interesting be, uh, because in addition to how vertical the, uh, this map seems right now, there were a few, um, there were a few routes that uh, that were uh, that were added late on in the in the development cycle precisely because 
uh, the the beta testers were wanting to climb a lot more than than the level designers had initially had initially thought. And one of the of those additions is I, I I take in traverse in my um, in my run of things. So it's nice to know that like when things are going wrong, people just write shit on their walls. <laughs> <laughs> Leave some sort of mark that you were there. You had agility. You could have made that. I honestly have the worst track record when it comes to falling off that <laughs> and impacting and hurting myself. Oh, mm. just drink a damn potion, bro. This is so. This is where things like I'm. I'm doing pretty okay at the moment. I'm like I'm sneaking. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm totally sneaky. Go. Look at that. How's that? And um, just you know. I'm, I'm going to be very proud of myself in a moment, because... Oh, this is looking good. Yes! Right. And that's how he vanishes. But, uh, so I'm like, yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm feeling really clever. I'll just go down here for a moment. Oh my god, rats! Where oh did they... god! <laughs> god. <laughs> and it's like, no, fuck Dude, off. Start hitting go him. away. There go away. Go. go away. And of course, I'm standing around just like angry dude in, in a skeleton mask, being like fucking bitten by rats. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, I can't get dude, out of here. Okay, them. they're still biting me. Just like, fuck off, fuck off. This oh is my basically God. just dishonored. Not There's guess. so many of them, they just keep coming. It's like an endless supply of rats, and then of course I get spotted. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? Go away. <laughs> like, seriously, fuck off. Wow, holy shit. Those rats are still at you. <laughs> well, now they aren't because they've got something to eat. So, uh, <laughs> you know. That went real bad, real quick. Yeah, just like rats. Fucking hell, man. Jesus. God damn, dude. Now, welcome to Dr. Galvani's research laboratory where he's been trying to find a cure for this horrible plague. There's a bunch of dudes, you know, wandering around down here. And I am going to try to uh, try to not get horribly caught and killed by guards, which okay. is not very easy to do. Oh. Okay. Now, the reason he got he got uh he got <laughs> sort of notified that I was there was the fact that my sword when I was dropping down there smashed a smashed a display case. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, yep. You know that's that's Why okay. Not? Yep. No worries. Just I'll just accidentally. Fucking fought and stumbled my way through through most of this early area. You are the luckiest MF I've ever <laughs> met in my Just life. Stumbles the assassin. <laughs> I don't know if Cold Guy will show it off. I'll probably show it off at some point. You can get under a lot of tables and furniture that's about that high. Uh, yeah, there's a low crouch that uh, that Corvo has that's totally contextual. No. So let's just open this door. We know we've still got a few people out there. Let's uh, let this giant swarm of rats out. What could possibly go wrong? You guys have fun. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're showing this off because I absolutely refuse to open that door. Well, <laughs> if I'd have snuck past everybody else and just done it, they'd have been massacred. The rats would have been massacred. But now there's less people. Also, um, let's just ignore the human hand there. Ah. Uh... <laughs> really interesting pitch and uh the dude from the dude from upstairs because there's a dude wandering around upstairs he heard all of this and he's come down come down to help deal with it as well uh which obviously as you can hear is going extremely well as well that dude's engaged to the uh, to the maid upstairs this is your fault uh, you see this is the maid going this place is going to the hounds no lady it's going to the rats God and, uh, damn, dude! Wow. That's real rough. That is brutal. Yeah, they already ate the other guy that was down there. Yeah, no, this is this is like Metalocalypse brutal up in here. There's, there's the smear on the ground where the other dude was. It's just like, man, what did I just do? Yeah, they're waiting for you. Yeah, it's like, now it's your turn! Yep. But, unlike the other lot, these guys aren't a near, near infinite swarm of rats, so I can, you know, do the usual thinning down routine. From a top addresser, because I'm the bravest man alive. <laughs> Either that or the smartest one. I'm gonna go with the latter, because there's no reason to get your ghoulies chewed on by a bunch of rodents. 
John, John, get the broom. It's the rats again. <laughs> I, I think just having watched them, like, strip strip two human beings down to absolute, like, bloody smears on the floor, I'm, I'm entitled to be a little more cautious. No, yeah, like, obviously shit is fucked in this, in this city because someone bred rats with piranhas. N now I'm envisioning that, you know, I, I, I've, ha I've had the, the, du the dubious distinction of, re of, you know, kind of blessed, dude. I just love the, the one on the right dies when I'm hitting the one on the left. Just like whatever. I'm still really worried about those rats. Like, like there's not enough of a swarm of them to like still cause me trouble. But I'm just like, mm. I, I, I get really aggressive with rats just because it's the only thing I can get aggressive with. Grenades. Yeah, no, that's where I use my grenades. Is on friggin' rats. I'm just like, where's the maid? Do, 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 do. Throw that glass against the wall. Now that's actually a fairly important book. That right there, that information that you've got there is actually the combination to a safe. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't know what you're doing in a high chaos run if you don't throw every piece of glassware against the wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that pads the, uh, I don't think that pads the, the high chaos factor. It, okay, so there she is. But... Um, there's, obviously there's no, uh, there's no guard up here. He went down just to see what was up and got eight, so that's all good. Um, some stuff by Sokolov. He was the, uh, he was the fellow, uh, painting at the beginning as well. That's probably worth noting. Yeah, Sokolov is bit, is like is, he seems to be mo uh, be modeled after like a more philandering Leonardo da Vinci because he kind of does everything. And he kind of looks like Rasputin. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like Rasputin. So there's probably a fit, fit, you know, a little bit of analogy in that with him as well. And yeah, so I'm not sure. I I have this compulsive problem where I just like whip the heart out at any given moment just to make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> and then I'll accidentally use it instead of a power, because... I love that that, uh, that marker just says Rat Viscera. Just makes me think of Viscera cleanup detail. Mops, oh, well, mops, this is awfully mops. convenient. Keep the children inside. I told her. You told her. You told her the I things. Told her. You told her to stay inside. You gonna... Uh. Oh, okay. You're nice to her. I love, I love giving, I love giving Shameful. everyone a heart attack. Like everybody's just like, oh no, he's just gonna randomly stab me. <laughs> it's just like lunges forward, chokes her out. It's all good. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna really have to make up for this. Oh my gosh. It's just, and like, I'm, I'm kind of a bit sad here because now I'm maximized on, on gun bullets, which is, you know, it means I haven't been had enough opportunities to just blow someone's face off. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment there, I expected you to go out at the Clavering Boulevard, just start randomly shooting at the guards there. And <laughs> <do that. laughs> I'm not killing enough people. Better kill some people before I like complete this objective. There we go. A little bit more gold. That'll Money. be good for, uh, for buying stuff later. I don't have to be stealthy at this point, um, because everybody in the house is uh, dead or unconscious. Which is basically dead with a with a with a rent, with a different tag. Which means I can just you know do that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't know what the f that is like the weirdest looking boar thing there. It's like a crocodile or something. I don't know. I don't want to know. Little thief creeping in around the edges. <laughs> a rat j just sort of does a backflip. He's very impressed with your swordsmanship, so he he just like he just like does a backflip to uh, to assuage you. He just he just obliges me with a flip. Do a sweet backflip. I love it. I love this, it. This is where this Galvani is in the processes his photographs. So yeah, a lot of the uh, vents that you're seeing around here, you could use if you if you got the uh, possession power early on because you could then possess yeah. a rat and then run through the vents 
but uh, it's completely unnecessary this early on. There's always there's always a, another way of doing it that's just as convenient, if not more so. Yeah, this seems like a good place to randomly eat food from. Why not? There's just rats everywhere and rat viscera behind, you know, a random secret briefcase thing. Yeah, I'll just put that in my pocket. That's fine. <laughs> Why not? It's not like it's gonna go more off. Chris Bathos urethra? Someone wants that. There you go. All of the money. It's nice. <laughs> Let's just pretend that's not there. Surprised, yeah. Surprise you haven't been eaten yet. <laughs> There's not enough rats in the area to do it anymore. Yeah. So a lot of the a lot of the uh, there's a lot of foreshadowing in this section. Uh, well, we'll just we'll just hear it straight from the Great horse's mouth here. Distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe oh, intelligence. Nice. Although the experiments there are not complete, Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. I enjoy the, that he, he immediately talks about the coarseness of its fur and it just leaves me with a mental image of him, of him you know, like at a Dr. Claw um, chair just stroking a rat the way Dr. Claw stroked Mad Cat. Ah, uh, yes. These I'll catch you next pants. time, rat. <laughs> Ow! Okay, so the reason why I've been constantly checking just to make sure that uh, I hadn't pissed any, like you know, hadn't pissed anyone off is because after you actually come up here and get the viscer and everything, it does bring some guards into the floor downstairs, and they will make their way up here. Unless you did something like, say, left a few killer rats down there, um, in which case they will just sort of, you know, lurk around downstairs. Like, trying to figure out why there's all these dead bodies there. <laughs> of course, there, were, there wasn't enough rats to actually turn into a killing swarm, so they're just going to say, I'm going to live and let live on that one. <laughs> Meanwhile, lunch is still on the menu. God damn. It's like the wettest eating noises. Oh, yeah. So, now I've successfully acquired the viscera it's like we're doing a whole lot of not murdering the high overseer it's great <laughs> there's a lot of other murder to do we'll get around to it when we get to it yeah it's like our adhd demands now that we go and poison a whole bunch of dudes in the bottle street gang <laughs> there, there was that one dude who tried to breathe fire at you clearly that means that you must murder them all well a nice old lady offered to give me like you know, crazy superpowers if I did it. And if you can't trust the crazy old lady that calls rats birds, who can you trust? Honestly, if if somebody offered me superpowers in, in, in exchange for murdering a couple of thugs, I'd be tempted. Ah, so we're on to our next small area, and that's the uh, the Dunwall Distillery. The the Bottle Street Gang aren't the only gang that's, uh, that exists in... Uh, in this place in Dunwall, but they're uh, they're arguably the most powerful of them. Foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Still surprised me. I'm I'm th I mean I'm <laughs> I'm still in my own mode, so I'm just I'm just like okay, drop down there, choke uh, choke the guy out. T uh, take him, uh, take him away from where he's gonna be seen. Boom, done. No, you're just gonna murder him and have his body turned to ash. That's way more efficient, yeah. honestly. I've, I've like, you know, I've got the stabs on lockdown here. That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer. The fuck are you looking at? Blow off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like they're, they're having they're having like a, a a a background discussion over there, and then you look to the left, and they're just like, "Fuck you, no, fuck you." <laughs> wow. I'm just gonna go stand over here where someone was probably on guard once. It's all right. Oh, that that happened again. 
It keeps happening. I warned you about falls, bro. I warned you, dog. Yeah, just... <laughs> A part of me was really wishing I could just do that the whole entire time. Yeah, not so much. I don't. I don't think the uh, the enemy or the enemy pathing is conducive to that. Yeah. I noticed another another feature of the uh, of the vision mode is that you can uh, you can see your own noise that you make when you move on things. So you can tell. You're making an extra, extra large amount of noise if you're like not crouch walking on a uh, on a metal platform. It 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 does it does help be, uh, because the um, the surface that you're walking on helps determine how much noise you're making. So it's a little bit of a reminder. Still surprised me. I, that's <laughs> gonna keep happening. God bless it. Ah dear. Well, don't don't worry, folks. The, the murdering gets a bit more creative later. Well, I, the the murdering still surprises me. It's just it's just like okay, choke him out, choke him out. Okay, <laughs> it still surprises me. I think that's gonna keep happening. Oh, what's he doing now? Just like, behind like, him. And, and... I am, but I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to see where he'd end up. And of course, he he's off to have a slash, so uh, we'll give him one. <laughs> is that is that like some uh, some Australian uh, slang yeah. that I'm not familiar with here. Cause yeah. that yeah. having a slash. Having a slash. This, that's not my blink power. Oops. Okay, there we go. Like I said, sometimes the heart just like flies into my hand instead of like other powers that would make more sense. It's okay. It always says something interesting. Agility is so handy. It really so is. Good. It it, ma it makes it makes you look like such a badass. Still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. And one down. Oh, he actually turned around. Well, yeah, that... well, it does make a bit of noise landing abruptly on somebody. So that's the end of his head. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. He's the only buddy that gets left behind, because he's the only one who actually noticed he was about to get murdered. <laughs> Just making sure I haven't, like, left anything somewhere here. Still, it's a closed coffin ceremony for that boy. Eh, yeah, they can read that. <laughs> yeah, I remember there's actually a basin up here that has, uh, has a, a toy that we can make use of. And, uh, as you can see... Sort of. A grenade! Won't be using that for a little while. Granada! It will be well worth it when I do end up using the grenades. God damn it, Orv! Don't trigger me. <laughs> you know Granado! I did. You know I did Call of Duty One. You know that this yep. this is this is this is PTSD for me. Do not trigger me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not entirely so sure where the uh, where the code for that launcher is. I. There isn't Obviously. one, I believe. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just sort, uh, sort of around waiting to be deployed because there are a couple of other ones around here that are already deployed. Yeah, in, inside, which is, you know, obviously where we're going. Right. I believe that that uh, that launcher is supposed to be a hint that there were going to be more around. Gives you just enough time to forget that it's there as well. <laughs> Empty bottles are very valuable. Perfect distractions, really. That's how you make a. Uh, that's how you make the the elixir that they're making. That's just Sokolov's elixir watered down it's with like, sugar. Okay. I appreciate that, uh, that you you take you take the high road the same way I do. It's just not uh, not worth sliding through the uh, closing door the way that they want you to do. God, you're not fun at all. Nah, I'm 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 in agreement in agreement with Robokai on this one. I like going whoosh. <laughs> also, I forget that you can run and slide, so you know. <laughs> I run and slide like crazy. That's like one of my favorite things. 
just be like, woo, woo, woo. I'm like snowboard kids, only, you know, without the snow. I don't know. You could be doing some snow if you're uh, flying around going, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, entire lines of snow. <laughs> Maybe you just mean without a board. <laughs> You would. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> it's just like, like I didn't even, I don't even care. Like I watched this, and I'm like, wow, I really did not give a fuck. I wanted to just like shoot a dude in the head and see if he disappeared. That was incredible. Just watching the reaction on on his, on his friend there it was just like, what in the hell even just happened? Well, that happened too. So Holy that. crap! <laughs> I give up, let, him let go. him go. Yeah. There's actually also another bunch of uh, rats I think you can let out in here to like horribly murder everybody, but I'm 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 still not sure why, but I just felt much more like just these guys are these like are these are like the guys from Tenshu Wrath of uh, Wrath of Heaven that are just are just sort a sort of like ah forget it. Well, that was That's a close a call. I'm gonna dump you in the river after I- <laughs> That is the worst sound. Get your gun out! What are you doing? <laughs> Whatever. What? And like, and waste a perfectly good uh, chance to stab a dude while he's lying on the ground going- Argh. That's a fair point. Oh, there's the rats you, you can let it lose. Oh god, please here they stop. Come. Go away. Fucked up. Why are they here now of all times? Like, what the fuck? Throw a grenade at him. That's what you should do. Nah. I'm dumb. I'm very confused at this point, and then I'm just like, eh, hey, whatever. Chain! It's there for a reason, right? You can just sort of. You climb it up, you walk around. Avoid all the rats. I mean, if you wanted to avoid killing everybody in here, hey, this is what you can do. That's you can just, kind of what I you do, know, do. Or you, you know, you could kill everybody and then still do it anyway, because why not? Dude, more Morrowind music up in here. Yeah. All I'm saying is, is I'm walking out of Sedanine right now. It's weird because I just served another playthrough last night. Did you? Yeah, I, I do one every year. Fuck. I left it pretty late. <laughs> this I, wh where am I going now? Why uh, am I like? I am I just know. trying to pretend I managed to fail really you're badly at climbing objects? Like what? You're just okay, really go this confused, way. and the rest of us are are just using this uh, this time to turn this into a podcast. Corvo Otano, <laughs> master thief, bad at climbing. You gotta be bad at something. Yeah. Just, just no. It's funny if you if you slide through that wire, it won't hit you. That's <laughs> 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 sentry crossbow. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking delayed reaction. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's like, oh, what the fuck? Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> Why am I on fire? I don't know, I just, I guess I decided at some point just to, like, wander around, like, setting people on fire. Oh my god, that was incredible. <laughs> so there's nobody else around here to kill. Yeah, 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 it's accepting sure rats by the before. thousand. Yeah. Get over yourself. You haven't done any such thing. Well, what do you think is in all those barrels? So, for whatever reason, someone's decided to hide a bone charm up in the banisters here, which is, you know, a little unusual, but I guess if that's what they want to do... It just means you have to climb. And you're really bad at climbing, so whatever. Yeah. And again, another good one. You get that, a little yeah, honor if you have to use a uh, a Piero potion of spirituality. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good one. As usual, you have ridiculously good luck. <laughs> yeah. 
So you can effectively, if you really want to make yourself a few, uh, a few things if you've been, you know, wasting them, but because I eat everything that isn't, uh, isn't pinned down. Like we, uh, we don't have to worry too much about healing. You know, just go lying around on the floor for no reason, that's alright. And you can, like, put that in, I think about it, and I'm just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> there we go. The still is infected. Okay, good. You don't want it. You don't want anything about that at this point. Good work. <laughs> I briefly thought about disabling it. I was like, nah, fuck it. Just strut through it. I don't care. Just a matter of time, buddy. Yeah, since uh, since our adventure, um, well, a few more people have turned up to. Uh, to see what's up at Slack Jaws Distillery and nice. well, they've noticed that I've I've left them a present in the form of a dead body, which is uh, well, it's actually stopped them from you know causing causing me any undue problems inside. And now they're uh, they're going to go into agitated patrol, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Like that's going to help them very much. Just a matter of time, buddy. Hey, Fisher, I'm looking for a bass player. Do you play the bass? <laughs> I play a bass. Of course, killing that guy causes something very strange to happen with my game. Um, oh, you might hear the music has now decided it doesn't want to work properly, and it's going to start playing and then stop a few times. I think the textures even start getting a bit weird on us, but, you know, <laughs> it's okay, we're getting to the end of the episode, but I'm not. I'm still not entirely sure why this happened. The craziest things happen in your playthroughs, dude. I, I I just what even? Like it sounds like all the different ambient noises are just like fighting who gets to be played, and like the textures just start slowly beefing it. That is I don't know creepy. Oh my gosh, that's like that's like more. <laughs> that's seriously unsettling. I'm like, oh, well, maybe if I go back to Bottle Street, it'll fix up. N no, the textures on the walls are even worse out here! What's going on? It's possessed! Why is this... Why? Oh, uh. oh okay. that's... Right. Fucking delightful. Yep, well, it's it's lunchtime at Granny's. God damn it. Oh, hey, Granny, no, please, hold on. Game's chugging. I need to oh. talk to you. Come God. back! I knew you wouldn't disappoint. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. That was weird. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Don't show up behind us again. Yeah, okay. please don't. You're creepy enough as it is. Yeah, that's... I mean, I, she got more creepy when she started moonwalking. <laughs> <laughs> she was just dancing, that's all good. Remember how we used to dance? No, I don't. Thank fucking God. Peel it off. Peel it off so we can breathe. God damn, you're creepy. Peel it off so we can God, breathe. That got real weird at the end there. Yeah, that got really weird. Hey, well, you know, like, so that's that's the first that's the first half of the mission in which we had absolutely nothing to do at all whatsoever with what we set out to do in the first place. <laughs> there was yep, a lot of tertiary murder to be had. Oh my gosh, a lot a lot of horrible. Hollow horrible corpses being stripped bare by swarms of devouring rats. You just walk on times. by. You just walk on by all of that. Well, you know, par partially it's my fault. Um, <laughs> and so uh, that's that's the kind of thing that you you know a high chaos run demands. You just like you know bodies out in the street, rats eating them. You know, it's good. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> That like was that fire. was legitimately a trip. Thank thank you for it, even if it revolted me. Yeah, the good the good news is at least is the uh, the the second half will not have the audio problems in it. Um, thankfully, we get that fixed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I to this I still don't know why I did that. Like I, I straight up have absolutely no idea why it started doing that. It's never done that before. I don't think it's done it since. Uh, just. It just it just got completely over overblown with all of the horror horrific things you were doing. You you are you are a war criminal, sir. I don't think he was killy enough. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. 
yeah, there, there, there's there's a lot more murder needs to be done. I, I get I get us started slowing it, but um, you know, next episode of the High Chaos Run, don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be killing a lot more people, and I will also be uh, upsetting animal lovers uh, because there will be a lot of dog murder as well. I hate you. So I, I'm nice to dogs for what they're, that's worth. They're weird <laughs> freak dogs. Though. They are freaking like just very much large rats. I don't know. I I, I still I, I'm a dog lover and I'm nice to dogs. I don't need to be nice to dogs, but I'm nice to dogs. Yeah. So that's that's what's going to be uh, happening when we actually go and do what we came here to do. Um, because yeah, I seriously we just spent forty seven minutes going around and like poisoning people for for mystical powers. You're just, what you're doing is you're you're absorbing the local flavor, and that's okay. Well, that, a lot of people are going to be absorbing the local flavor, yeah, the local <laughs> flavor that is rat, rat gizzard. Apparently, that's what uh, that's what our uh, our chief import is. Apparently, oh my god! So we uh, it's the new taste sensation that's uh, that's sweeping uh, the Bottle Street stills. <laughs> it's new Coke. New we really did just make new coke. And really I, I can did. imagine the response to our new coke is going to be just exactly the same as when new coke first came out. New coke is fatal. Oh god, we're 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 terrible people, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> we got a lot more of that to look forward to in the future. So I've been the last Robo guy. I've been cool guy, and I've been Orv. And we'll uh, see you all in the next part of the High Chaos Run. <laughs>